Hey everyone, another easy peasy. So a follow up to these little cardboard charms. When I made these, I showed that I pulled off this piece. Just like this. And this piece was laying on my desk and I was finishing up this journal and I saw that and I decided I wanted to make a pocket out of it. So I made this pocket and I just tore around the edge. I ran my ink brush over the lines to make them stand out more. And then I just tore the edge rough and I didn't make it even with my page because I liked that sticking out over the top. I thought that looked cute. So I made two more and just put some little clusters on them with rickrack, some muslin, and a word. I sewed that, but I didn't sew it to the pocket. And then again, I left the pocket hanging off the edge so that it kind of mimics a tab. And I inked the same way. I did those vertical. I think I was pleasantly surprised at how nice of a pocket this makes. I mean, it's thick. Even though it's just the one ply of cardboard, I liked it. I like the the feeling of it. The inside is slick because you've turned the you know rig, the ridges on the outside. When I very first was going to make the pocket, of course I was going to do it like this, and then the grungy side of me said, "Ooh, look at all those wrinkles! Isn't that fun?" So just know that the pockets are slick on the inside. Things are going to slide in and out of them easily. And they're a good thickness that they don't have to be backed. And even though, like I said, they're just the one ply. As I was tore off some more because I liked them so well, I thought if I ink them and they're horizontal, it's writing space. I loved that idea. So I made some more pockets, real simple pockets. Didn't embellish them much because... Not exactly sure what kind of journal they'll go into. So I just made some very neutral pockets. And again, I did those, done those horizontal so that when I inked over it with my ink brush, just like this, those lines that are automatically there from the glue really stood out. And not only is it a pocket, now you have a writing space, which I know any pocket could be a writing space, but... If you're anything like me, I never write anything straight across or even, and I thought that was really cool. And then I decided to take some of that brittle book page that I have and glued it down to some of the edges, still leaving writing space, but giving the pocket some kind of a, you know, a set, another dimension to it other than just being brown. And of course, you can always put stickers or washi tape, stamp. But I thought I would tell you that I did try to pull just from a normal cardboard box like we get from Amazon or this, you know, that kind of thing. It doesn't really tear off in one full piece. Uh, not like the boxes that have a slick outside. See it? You'd have to wet that and it wouldn't pull off. But anything that has a slick outside, I've noticed... Like this one was from wipes. This one is from, you know, diapers. And I know that not everybody has diaper boxes laying around. But if you do, those will pull off the best. I'm, I'm sure other things come in slick boxes. So not just the wipes. But I thought I would show you really quick. Like I said, this doesn't even need to be shown but I was doing them so I thought I would go ahead and just make one I just tore it rough like this I like to make sure maybe the bottom is somewhat even though I want it jagged I don't want a big dip like that because you know of course I'm going to glue it on a page at some point and I want it I want it to, I'll probably hang it off the bottom, but, you know, maybe not quite so jagged. So then I just took my ink 
And you know, all the cardboard is different colors. So this one's not quite as pretty as the other ones, but once you ink it, they all look pretty, in my opinion. So I inked around the edges first so that it would have a darker shade of inking. Plus give it time to dry before I start with my book page. Then I just took my brush and this, I'm not sure if this is a makeup brush or if it's actually one that was for inking, but either one worked just fine. Something under there. Oh, there it is. And so I just go across it like that and it highlights those lines. So now you have nice horizontal lines. I, I just, I don't know. I'm, that was new to me. I'd never done it before. So I thought, oh, that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and record that. So I think because more than likely it's going to be, and I'll wait for that part, I think. No, I won't. I'm going to tear the edge because I want it to hang off of the edge of a page more than likely because I like that look. I thought that was different than for me. So I just made that kind of jagged. Take my glue stick. Put it on the edge wherever I think I'm going to want some book page. Put down this very brittle. See, I mean, it just breaks like so. Maybe take a card or something and smooth that down. I can't do it very hard because it will tear even though because it's on the glue now and it's wet. But this was the part I liked. Go ahead and peel off what's not glued down. Is that now because it's so brittle you can just kind of pull back and it will tear the same as your rugged edge. You know, sometimes we glue things on that rugged edge and we lose that jaggedy edge. On this brittle book page, if you just pull against it, it's wet now from the glue. It'll tear right with your edge. And I, I really like that. So now I ink it. And I can't ink this before I lay it down because it's too brittle. It will break. So I just either take this one or my brush and just kind of push in so I get that edge there as well. And plus I like the extra grungy. And there is a cute pocket that we can, you know, put some kind of a collage onto. That'll let, you know, when you get ready to put it in your book or, you know, even a piece of doily, something like that. I just think that's a really easy cute pocket that we could mass make it stays in the in the neutrals so you can use them in any kind of journal and also you don't have to have brittle book page to do this it will work on normal book page you'll just have to cut it it won't tear as easily as this brittle book page and that's what i liked about it because you could glue it turn it over pull it towards yourself and it left that ragged rugged edge just like what was already on your pocket and i like that i think sometimes when i myself cut it versus you know tearing it it doesn't really have that distressed edge as much as i like it to or rough edge i should say I know this tutorial is probably something that you're like, yeah, I've been doing that for years, but I thought it was cute and I would share it with you. This could go alongside of a page, be that kind of a tech. I hope you like this idea. Maybe it was something new for you too. Thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.